welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Today I am bringing you a tutorial on the look I am wearing right now. It is a mix of high-end and drugstore. I'm really trying to test out a bunch of new products this month. A bunch of them I have hauled and a bunch of them are just things I have had and really haven't gotten around to using yet. I think the look turned out really nice. I am super glowy as you can tell but it's definitely a dramatic eye. I actually wore this eye look out the other night and absolutely loved it so I wanted to recreate it. So like I said it's a mix of some new products, drugstore, and high-end and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So if you want to see how I got this look then please just keep watching as well as like this video if you like the look and subscribe if you have it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay, so first I'm going to take this scotch tape, putting it on the back of my hand to get rid of some of the stickiness, and I'm putting it at an angle on the outside of my eyes. Then I am going in with this Air Patrol by Benefit. It is their BB Eyelid Primer, and I'm just putting that all over my lids to prep for eyeshadow. Once I rub that in, I'm going to be taking this pale color in the Morphe 350 palette and I'm going to be setting that eye primer with a Morphe brush. I don't know what this brush is, I will have all the brush listed in the description bar. Then with this light tan shade, I'm going in with an E20, Morphe E27 and I'm going to be putting that at the very top of my eye as a transition color. So above my crease but not as high as my brow. I'm just going in windshield wiper motions and and then doing circles as I get down to the lower part where the tape is to create the desired color I want. And then I'm going in with the second brownish color, uh, a little darker but not too dark. I'm putting that right below and blending it up into that transition color we placed with the same Morphe E27. I'm doing the same thing on the other eye, once again, windshield wipers and little circles. Then with this rusty brown color, I am adding one more shade just to kind of create this really pretty brown gradient. I'm doing the same thing, windshield wiper motions, kind of blending it up into the two previous colors just to create the color shade I wanted. Then for the outer corners of my eye, this is a Makeup Geek shadow in the shade Burlesque. I am using a Morphe M433 brush and I am just working that into the outer corner. This is when the tape really comes in handy because you don't have to worry about where to stop because when you pull that tape off, you will have a nice clean line. So I am just doing the same thing on both eyes just building up that color on the outer corners then for the rest of my lid i'm going in with this gorgeous foiled morph i am not morphe <laughs> gorgeous foiled makeup geek shadow grandstand and i'm using this little makeup geek no oh my gosh i'm so sorry i'm using this morphe brush to pack that all over my lid and as i get closer to that burlesque shade i'm just doing little tapping motions to kind of help blend them together then once i get grandstand to the desired uh shade and build up of all that sparkly goodness i am going back in with burlesque and just kind of deepening up that outer v and very ever so gently blending that kind of into the crease just to really make everything seamless and then as always going back over everything with this e27 just to make sure there are no harsh lines and pulling off that tape I like to go in with a makeup wipe after I take the tape off just to kind of clean everything up because it can kind of look a little crazy and I don't want it too, too harsh. So that is what I'm doing here. And once I have cleaned that up, I will be just putting this pale shade that we used to set the eyes under the brow. I'm going to go in with the brow highlight later. You do not have to do that. Just putting a light shade would work just fine. Then I am going in with this Maybelline gel liner. Unfortunately, the clips of me doing my liner and eyelashes did not turn out well at all. But as you can see, I took the Ardell 120 Dummies and put those on my lashes with the Duo Adhesive Glue. And then I'm just going in with this Tarte Waterproof Mascara to blend my lashes together. Then for primer, I decided to use the NYX Angel Veil Primer because I am going in with the L'Oreal Lumi Cushion Foundation. That's a very luminous foundation, as it says in the name. Name, so I did not want a primer that was also luminous. Then I'm taking this E4, I believe. It might be an E6. Once again, the brushes will be in the description bar. This is the first time I used this brush for foundation and oh my gosh, I fell in love. It applies the product so beautifully. It is so freaking soft. The Morphe Elite collection really kills it. So anyways, I'm just stippling that product all over my face 
once I get it everywhere I want, I'm just kind of blending it in, especially blending down the neck. And once my foundation is on, I am going in with this Maybelline Better Than Skin uh, Concealer. It's the first time I was using it, so I was pleased that I liked the color I chose. I believe this is like Fair Light or something like that. I will list that as well in the description bar. I'm just putting that in triangles under my eye, on my forehead, down the nose, and on my chin and then I am using my tried and true beauty blender and when you want to use when you're using your beauty blender just make sure you are pressing the product into your skin you're not rubbing it and you're not wiping it excuse my dancing and yeah you just really want to press that in so i forgot to show you what product i was using i will be using again later in the video so you can see it then but i used this new maybelline powder to set my face and i have to tell you i actually fell in love with it it is such a great setting powder so i use that with this new morphe brush just to set everywhere that i put that concealer then moving on underneath my eyes i am going back in with that burlesque shade by makeup geek and on a small pencil brush i am putting that as closely to my bottom lash line as possible and then to blend that out i am going in with that rusty brown shade we used on the crease earlier to blend that out and then finally taking a very small fluffy brush and just blending that out further so it looks more smoked out then for my bottom lashes i'm going in with this lancome uh, doll eyes hypnose doll eyes waterproof mascara and then I'm using my once again trusty Anastasia brow Wiz in dark brown to fill in my brows and to set them I am going to use the Anastasia clear brow gel I love this brow gel it keeps your brows in place all day long now to highlight my brow, I am going in with Shimmer Shimmer. It is another Makeup Geek shadow, and I am placing that underneath my brow, concentrating a lot of the product where my arch is. And then I am also taking a small brush to also put that shade in my inner corner for some highlight. Then I am taking this Urban Decay Velvet 24-7 eyeliner in the shade lush i believe and putting that in my waterline to complete my eyes then moving on to the face i am taking this new maybelline contour palette with my tarte paddle brush and i'm going in to the bronzer shade i got my palette in medium to dark and i am just putting that on my cheeks to contour and i have to tell you i am so impressed with this palette obviously you can tell the shades the colors are super pigmented and they are very blendable and i actually actually really loved the blush and highlight as well so then I'm going in with this real techniques duo fiber brush just to blend out that contour to make it a bit softer and then I wanted to be more bronzy and I have to t admit I did go a little ham on the bronzer today but what can I say I love being bronze and I went in with this morphe m527 brush and my hourglass bronzer and just added some bronzer on top of that contour and then I use this Maybelline powder this is the loose powder I was talking about earlier I used it to bake not in love with it for baking but I did love it for setting but I thought I would try it to see how it is for baking then to put some blush on my cheeks I took Milani's Illuminoso and put that all over my cheeks with a Morphe E3 and then I took this do oops then I brushed off jumping ahead of myself I brushed off that baking powder uh, with a Real Techniques powder brush. Sorry, I can't seem to talk right now. And then with a Duo Fiber brush by Real Techniques, I am going back into that Hourglass bronzer and just bronzing up my forehead because it really helps balance out the face, especially when you get as bronze happy as I did today. And it doesn't hurt to put a little bit along your jawline. Then I am going in with the highlighter from the Maybelline palette, and I am so in love with this highlight. It really impressed me. I'm taking this on my Anastasia a highlighter brush I really like to use this brush on the flat side versus the tip I used to use it pointed at my face if that makes sense rather than laying it down and now that I've changed and start applying it laying it down I feel like it applies the product much better so I'm putting that on the tops of my cheekbones and on my nose because I love a good nose highlight and of course I didn't feel satisfied or like I was glowing enough so I am going in with the Anastasia that glow kit I am so in love with this kit. It is absolutely beautiful. And I am taking the shade Bubbly and just adding more highlight on top of the places I already highlighted. 
Then to finish off this look, we just have the lips. I am going in with the Aquarius ColourPop Lip Liner. It is a gorgeous nude peach. It is such a good lip liner for so many lip products. And for my actual lips, I am going to go in with this new NYX Lingerie Lipstick. These are not marketed as liquid lipsticks, but I was so highly impressed with it. It stayed on my lips so well. It completely dried. It did not move, and it was so comfortable. So I was really happy. This is the shade Bedtime Flirt. I think is an absolutely gorgeous nude that would work with so many everyday looks. So that will complete this look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I am making a mess. Oh, wow. Why does filming take me so long? My nails are growing out and my hair keeps getting stuck in them. San Francisco. And would like to see more. And obviously you're gonna see more as the beauty channel. Why does it take me so long to do intros? And why do I sing like this? Because you know it's gonna end up in the bloopers and it's embarrassing. Look at that table. What a mess. What a mess, folks. What a mess. And we're out. Bye.